Welcome to Office 2013, video number 32. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, and this workbook is for videos 28 to 34, click on the link below the video, or go to our class website. Hey, we're still studying Excel. This is Excel Basics 4, and we have a quick video about math and order of operations in Excel formulas. Now, we've already actually talked a lot about this, but let's take a, a vote here. You raise your hand. What is 8? plus 2 times 2. Is it 20 or is it 12? All right, so raise your hand if you think it's 20. I'm raising my hand. Now I'll raise your hand if you think it's 12. I'm raising my hand. I always raise my hand for both. Uh, well, Excel will tell us what the actual answer is if you don't know your math order of operations. Equals 8 plus 2 times 2. So it must be 12. And it is because multiplication comes before addition. Now we've already run into this in this class with our uh, a payroll table um, and I think one other example also. If you wanted to in fact force 8 plus 2 to come first, then you have to use parentheses. 8 plus 2 in parentheses times 2. And then you get 10 times 2 is 20. All right, so here, here's the math order of operations, and here's all of the symbols that we use. Parentheses, caret, that's for exponents, powers, multiplication, division, adding, and subtracting. Now I want to scroll down here and look at one example. I told you it's going to be a short video. This is just the only example uh, we have for this. And once I got a question um, from an accountant, and the accountant said uh, the formula is not working. Uh, beginning inventory minus ending inventory times the value for each. Why am I getting minus 5? Well, of course, it's because of the order of operations. Because if you want to do your subtraction, hey, we're going to take beginning minus ending inventory. That's how much we had on the shelf at the end of the period. So we sold 7 times the 5 bucks value for each one. That means the cost of goods sold, 35 bucks. We sold seven of them at five. So order of operations in math, very important. All right, see you next video.